so instead of me um, toggling switches on and off uh, and trying to pick the heavy trees and the light trees in the block, this technology will enable me to feed a thumb drive into the spray controller on that particular block and allow the spray then and the information that's in the computer to do the work that, that I would normally do, flicking things on and off and hoping to get a good result. G'day and welcome to Batlow. I'm Will McCarthy and today I'm going to be talking you through our Swarm Farm's new variable timing of application concept and how we're applying it here in horticulture in the apple industry. We're not talking about just counting the number of white flowers on the tree, we're talking about actually mapping the entire tree from a very early pink bud stage all the way through to petal fall. Um, so we're not just counting what's on the tree at that king bloom time, we're actually building a profile of what that tree's been doing across the entire season. The decision to spray is based around when we think that king bloom has been pollinated. We're measuring the blossom each day, we're, we're walking into the blocks, uh, we're looking at the trees and we're making that determination on when we, we think uh, that it, it's right. Uh, but that's, that's pretty unscientific, it's all based around um, the human eye. As we build the algorithms, we need to make sure that the um, algorithm outputting the correct information. So the way we're doing that is, is we have quads hung in trees. Um, so this half metre by half metre section is actually completely ground truth by trained people on the ground. Um, and this year we're, we're using resources from the Batlow Fruit Company to help us do that. Um, and they're actually coming through and they're hand labelling what's inside this quad. So they come through and they count all of the pink tips, the balloon, the king bloom, all of the different growth stages. And then we use this information to train the algorithm as to what's actually on the tree. So I'm Angus Ross, I'm the mechatronics engineer for Swarm Farm. The idea is we're capturing images of the block every square inch and processing in real time to be able to turn around meaningful data for the growers so they can get it into their hands to be able to put it into maps and apply within the next day. So I think as far as the data that's been collected, having the information in, in raw um, terms to be able to plug it into a machine to do your variable spraying, it's one side of it. But in terms of you know, what do we want to see, I suppose, having a good overview of the block, being able to, to zoom out, I suppose, and see the variability within the block. Um, but also, I suppose, being able to drill down as well to an individual tree level um, and to be able to walk into the field and say, you know, that exactly what I'm seeing on the computer is what I'm seeing in the field. It's just the information that's invaluable. We're really excited to be actually pulling the agronomy into this and, and training the, the, the technology based around agronomy and field counts. Um, it's really important to us that when we build this technology, it needs to work. And the best way to do it is to actually ground truth exactly what the algorithms are outputting um, and, and show that, that the technology is working the way we expect. If we can target that blossom at the right time, then um, it, will, it will give us a more consistent first pick and a greater percentage on the first pick. It would also enable us to have a clearer harvest date. It would give us a lot of comfort moving forward with our information to hand thinning for the employees that will come through and do that. And I feel that that would be a big improvement and great benefit to us. So this is a map we've produced for the grower and they've indicated that they wanted to see every section of the tree that's above a certain stage. So in this case, it's 50% king bloom. So this shows the different sections within the orchard that are above that stage for them to action with a sprayer. The key part about what we're doing when we're building this technology is making sure we're accurately capturing what's on the tree. So variable timing of application is different to variable rate. We're not actually changing the rate on the run as we're running through the orchard. It gives the grower the ability to target the, the sections of the tree with the heavier flower loads without affecting the other sections of their orchard. Uh, we're very conscious when we're building this technology that it needs to be accessed by 100% of the industry. We're making sure it's designed so that it can run on the back of a um, quad bike, on a Polaris or, or on a tractor, so that every, every grower in the apple industry can utilise this technology to different levels. So one of the biggest issues we've got in the orchard is biennial bearing. Being able to uh, identify the different stages on individual trees and to treat them separately, because at the moment we just do a blanket spray over the whole block. So you know, we're talking time saving, we're talking chemical, labour saving, um, just a much better outcome for the orchard. 
getting this information, being able to target um, those trees with, with clear uh, scientific information could well, in the long term, reverse some of the bienniality of, of some varieties and therefore give us greater profitability with more annual cropping. In terms of time frame for adoption, I think as soon as this technology becomes available, there'll be a, a percentage of the, the industry that will take it on. You know, to me, it's sort of the missing link in consistent cropping and precision agriculture. You know, we've got to move into precision agriculture and, and this will do it for us. So.